Live for Adventure Canada. My name is James. Today we're heading up north, about what, an hour and a half, maybe two hours north of Montreal to meet a few friends, hit the trails, and have a good time. Remember, if you like the video, please press subscribe. We're just a little bit more than halfway to our final destination. We're making one last stop to get some water, a few snacks, and to top off the gas. Hmm? Good morning, Andre. Hey. So how much sleep How much sleep did you get? I slept around a big two hours. Okay, we're up here, St. Sever, about uh, 45 minutes an hour north of Montreal. Basically the last stop for gas before we uh, head up for another half hour, 40 minutes to hit the trails. This is the most painful part of the day, filling up this beast with gas. It took, I don't know, $50, $60 just to get here. Oh. Anyways, we already met Andre. He's here with the black sheep. It's going to be interesting. Less than stock vehicle. other people here as well. So let me fill up the gas and next stop is the trail. So. probably to about 20 or so, 20 PSI or so, and then uh, get back on our way. We're going to take off the mud flaps in the back as well. I'm off the road now. We'll take off the mud flaps before I bend them all up. All right, let's meet the crew for today. First up, we've got Andre in the black sheep. A totally stock, actually less than stock Discovery 2. The traction control doesn't even work. 100% open diffs, no modifications. The only thing he's done is slap on some old mud terrain tires. Up next is Daniel. It's his first time joining us. We got myself uh, third in line in my Discovery 2. 37 inch tires, portal axles, a whole heap of modifications done to the vehicle. And lastly but not least is Vlad. Absolutely, he's really no stranger to the channel. So it's time to get out and have some fun. Four discos in the trail. Disco fever is alive and well in Montreal, Canada. Well, it doesn't take long to find the first obstacle. So we slap it in low range, we put it in first gear, and we let the good time start.
This is Daniel's first trip with us, and I believe it's one of his first times ever driving off-road. So he's breaking it in slowly. He decides to take a slightly easier line through this obstacle. He heads up the right side. This is a really beautiful part of Quebec. One thing I love that you don't have to go too far, just a couple of hours outside of the city and you're in an off-road paradise. Another thing I love about this area is the obstacles come quick and fast, one after another. Check this out. Up next is Daniel, and I can imagine if you're a relative newcomer to this, this obstacle could look a little intimidating. Ouch! A little bit too much speed there. With a little guidance, and some great spotting from Andre and a whole lot of perseverance, Daniel finally makes it over this challenge. With open diffs and no traction control, Andre decides to take the black sheep up the left hand side of this obstacle.
It's time to take a little break for lunch, so I decided to get to know the newest member of the crew a little bit better. And with Daniel, like I said, first time coming out with us. So how was your day? Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, I learned a lot. So scary, but so fun. Uh, and not too much damage. I think what you you broke no, uh, just a mud the mud flap, the mud flap. I mean, but you know, yes. you don't need that. And I love your disco. So right now, it's basically a stock disco too, right? Yes. yes. It's a stock You've got a snorkel. You've got some half decent tires, some uh, BF Goodrich all terrain tires, the KO2s. Yes. So what's next for the vehicle? What do you want to put on? Uh, next for the vehicle, um, I need metal bumpers. Yeah, metal uh, winch, bumpers. Front winch and uh, maybe front a, bumper too. Maybe and a and rock sliders. Rock yeah. Rock yeah. Slide. Now that we got a little bit of food in our system, took a little break, let the vehicles cool down a bit. We're ready to push on into the second part of our day. Yeah. Go like go here, take a, take a left, and go, go Up here, put my left tire right there. No, the tire, the right tire yeah, is gonna the, go there. Yeah, the left one on this. Yeah, and then since you're gonna reach this, you go to the left a bit. Yeah. Last time I was up here I conquered this obstacle relatively easily and that was with 33 inch tires and no portal axles. But after a couple of years the conditions have changed. Perhaps if my front locker was actually attached I would have made it but you know we'll never know about that. It's been damn hot all day and every time I push the vehicle it starts to overheat. So instead of pushing it today, instead of continuing trying and trying and trying, you know I just left this for another time. and continue on to the next uh, the next obstacle
Ești prea aproape acolo. Te uite acum urmă. Ciu-ciu de urmă. Ciu-ciu. Trebuie foarte mult așa iau, leac. Da, 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 da. Trebuie să-l bagi aici. Da, el trebuie vrăt aici. Nu, ia ca fiști trebuie să-l spune. Nu, ia ca fiști trebuie să-l spune. Dă-napoi! Dă-napoi! Așa, dă-napoi! Dă-napoi, 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 dă-napoi!
I want to have a bit of fun here, so instead of taking the side route, I decided to hit the obstacle head on. Back towards where we started, and bad news, the fan for the radiator is not working. And I kept on overheating. From the first obstacle, I kept on overheating. And it, you know, this summer has been a terrible summer in Montreal. It's been rainy, it's been cold every weekend, almost every day. It's been a disgusting summer. And today, it's like the hottest day of the summer. The one time I'm going out to stress the truck on the hottest day of the summer and without the, the fan working every time I have to push it for an obstacle it just keeps on overheating not too much but it's, it's poking its way up there like three quarters of the way up there so instead of continuing I decided I just come back on the, the, the main road not really a trail the main road and uh, wait for the guys and chill out a little bit instead of doing some of the obstacles I've been waiting all summer to do but you know it's better to Take it easy, play it safe, and wait for next time. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, press like below. Leave any comments you want. I'll respond to all of them. And you know what? Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet.